welcome to PL SQL video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about the PL SQL collections. Uh, as you know that if you are working in PL SQL developer, this is the major things we should know about uh, if you are working in PL SQL uh, data processing or ETL developer or maybe front end application uh, data processing, data validation. So uh, here uh, as you know that variables can store one value, uh, but uh, uh, if you have a requirement to store multiple values and uh, if you want to store those data and uh, you can use those data for val validations as well as uh, some of the data conditions or checking or maybe uh, some of the data updation so you can store the values into collections and you can process those data from collections there are three types of collections a v array that is a variable array so then nested table and index by table so index by table will call as another name called associative array this is the three types of collections in PL SQL. If you're talking about uh, V array, it's a variable array where you can declare this V array and you can store the values. Uh, specifically, any data type, you can declare the data type and you can specify the length. And uh, whatever the length you have specified, it will allow that much uh, size of uh, array size. Then, if you're talking about the maximum, it will allow uh, 2 GB, uh, 2 gigabyte size so in a PL SQL level. Because uh, variable array, that is V array, maximum limit is uh, uh, 2 G, uh, GB. But whatever you are uh, declaring that uh, size, so depending on that size, for example, if you declare 10, so that will be allowed maximum 10. And the index values, it will start from 1. Index values, it will start from 1 and uh, maximum whatever you are declared. If you are declared uh, uh, some of 10 values, so the index value will be 1, 2, 10. And if you're looking at syntax, here you can see the sample syntax. Type, type name. Type name is your user defined name. You can use any name. And is VRA is a keyword. And the limit, you have to specify the limit. Like of, of what are the uh, declaring your uh, VRA size, maximum array size of element type. That is your data type. That is your index type. Data type you have to declare here. Maybe number or character, whatever you are going to use that. Next. Uh, index by table so index by table another name we will call as a associative array and here there is no limit actually we are having limits as a 2 gb but index by table and the next table there is no limit whatever your database schema uh, that user having a maximum size uh, at table space level so you can create uh, you can store that much data in the index by table uh, here uh, shorting order whatever index may uh, non sequentially it will store and it will store negative values as well Okay, uh, whatever you are using uh, nested table and uh, VRA won't be uh, negative uh, integers, but here the, the index value may be any order and negative index integers. It can be used in index by table. Syntax, if you look at this, type, type name is a table of is a keyword and a data type that is a table type. Index by is a keyword. So here you need to remember this. When you're talking about index by table, here you can find the index by is a keyword and your type that type uh, may be in binary integer or PLS integer or a number or integer whatever you are going to use you can declare that then nested table uh, it's also there is no limit for nested table you can declare it and you can store the values it's same as a uh, database table uh, specific to columns actually whatever the data type you are going to declare maybe number or date or varchar so whatever data type you are going to declare this national table, it will store into database level. And uh, here also there is no limit. Uh, whatever schema level uh, maximum is allowed, that will be stored into our uh, national tables. And uh, element sorted uh, and national table the starting index value from again from one. And the maximum whatever you have a values that will be maximum value. And uh, elements can be deleted from your national table in any order. So you can delete from anywhere passing index value. That index key value you can pass and you can delete a value from your uh, nested table. But a variable uh, VRA you can't delete directly like this. Only you can delete end of that uh, VRA. So that is the difference you can find uh, nested table and uh, VRA. And uh, this also is not a fixed size. So there is no limit on this. Whatever database side uh, schema level uh, size is available, you can use this. And uh, if it's syntax, if you look at this type, type name is table of. And the table type that is your uh, type we are going to declare that you can declare this so in syntax itself you can identify the difference a uh, nested table uh, and the vra vra you have a keyword vra and index by table you have a keyword called the index by table that is associative array nested table is directly a table of 
table type. So there is no index by table here. Then I'm sh uh, I will show some sample examples here to look at uh, one uh, one, one uh, examples here. This is the index by table. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm declaring here as an index uh, by table name. Here you can see, and the table of number is a data type is number. Then my index value is a varchar. So why? Because I'm my index I'm giving as varchar here. So that's why index by string. Then so I'm declaring a variable for my associate array. That is my index by table. This is my index by table, and I'm declaring variable. I'm declaring another variable that is scalar variable. So I'm declaring values. I'm storing values into my index by table. Uh, so this is my first index. I'm storing a 40 lakh. Second index uh, that is a BBH can storing value for 75 lakh. And uh, third index I'm storing the uh, one crore. So here are, again I'm changing my first index value. Here you can see. Earlier I have declared as a 40 lakh. I have changed to 45 lakh. Then there are methods to get the values from your collection. Those methods will you can find here. First, last, next. There are some other types available that we'll get in other session uh, uh, methods, the collection methods. So what I'm doing here, I'm getting the data from first to last. The so first means this, and last is this. So first means uh, first uh, it will go to here, and then it will go to latest one. It will be fetching here. Okay, if you run this, you can see which is the latest updated value in my collection. Okay, you can see the latest value. Like this, we can declare a collection and we can uh, update the values in collection and we can get the collection values. Uh, that is uh, using collection methods. And then there is another example on uh, VRA that is a variable array. Type, type name, VRA I am declaring as a length is a 4, maximum 4 I am declaring here. And index that is a varchar I am declaring here. Of varchar 15. So varchar 15 I am declaring here. Then this is my 4 values you can see. If you are uh, giving a Additional value it will throw error. Why? Because I have declared for. If I run this, what will happen? It will throw error. Subscripts out of limit. Outside of limit means here I have declared four, but I here I am using five. So variable array you have should be uh, whatever you have declared that much only it will allow. That is a limit. Then I have created another procedure to. Uh, print these values from I'm using indexes start with as I told uh, from 1 to 4 here 1 is your first name and name second is your this name third and fourth this is the index value and uh, what I'm doing again I'm updating my VRA this is my third index value is I'm updating this value fourth index value I'm updating this value again I'm reprinting as a uh, 2005 team so again third what I'm doing I'm updating four values here directly here based on index have updated but here I have directly have declared here you can see so I'm printing again running you can see here the difference here first I have declared four values then second I have changed the two values based on my index values third I have declared again fourth values here four values so this is the way we can declare values in collection we can assign values and we can change the values that is updating the values in collection that is here is the type is v array same thing you can go for another type called nested table the declaration you can see here type type name is a table of number i am declaring here uh, there are five numbers i have declared here first of what i am doing i am printing five numbers then i am deleting a uh, third and fourth okay third and fourth i am deleting then i am printing those so fifth also i am deleting third and fourth and fifth so what will happen first you can see here all are uh, printed successfully when you are talking about the second time i have deleted the third fourth fifth based on my index you can see here this is my method delete is a method in the collections i am deleting uh, these three values before printing again. So here again I'm first and last. First and last you can use the methods. So only we have three num numbers here because remaining two we have deleted using delete method. Then I'm printing. So what is happening? So when I'm printing again, I have deleted three values. I'm getting only first and second value. So this is the way we can go for deleting values in nested table.
so these are our, our overview on collections the other session i will give a more detail uh, related to methods and uh, definitions between these three collections thank you for watching my videos uh, please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much